Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and if you are new here then I just want to welcome you. Also, Happy New Year. Getting right into it, if you already watched my previous video then you know that I did want to come back and try this Fenty Beauty foundation powder in a different way which is what I want to do in this video. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So just to save time, I've already gone ahead and prepped and primed my skin so we are all ready to go with the base. I'm going to start off with a thin consistency foundation because in all honesty you shouldn't really wear a powder foundation on top of a liquid foundation which is why most people set their foundation with either setting powders or translucent powders because they are really thin in terms of their consistency and they are not going to give you a cakey appearance so based on that i'm going to use my georgia armani luminous silk foundation it is i wouldn't say quite a thin consistency foundation i want to start off with one pump and see how we do with that and just putting a tiny bit of the nars new caledonia around my mouth i know some people in my previous video commented saying that the foundation powder was a little bit on the warm side or like orange red side if you did watch that video i did apply it around my mouth first and if you can't already see this nars foundation color new caledonia does have a warm undertone so placing that powder on top of this warm undertone foundation is obviously going to increase that in my video so yeah so i'm going to use a brush to blend out this foundation it is again like i said a thin consistency foundation i've only just used pump, one pump so i'm not going to actually go too heavy with this foundation and you can see how thin it is because you can still see a tiny bit of my hyperpigmentation I'm just going to add one more pump of that foundation so basically two pumps yeah I'm really not trying to go too heavy with this I don't want to look cakey or anything like that so yeah okay I'm just going to go in with my sponge and blend out any excess product you can see how lightweight this Giorgio Armani foundation is because you can still see some of my hyperpigmentation and a little bit of my scars but it's evened out my skin tone and off and to be fair even if I'm not wearing this foundation powder I'm happy to go in with two pumps of this foundation because it does give me a light even coverage and a nice blank even canvas so I am going to conceal under my eyes starting off with the elf hydrating camo concealer this is obviously quite a thick consistency concealer as you can see you really don't need too much of that because it is a hydrating concealer i'm going to let that sit for a little bit and whilst i do that i'm going to go ahead and cream contour like i usually do so i'm just going to go in with the huda beauty tantor in the shade medium just to give us a nice bronze around the forehead area really don't need too much i've already gone ahead and put a little bit too much of that but we're just going to blend it out a little bit of this really does go a long way but it's okay it's okay so i'm just going to quickly blend out the areas that i've bronzed slash contoured i do want to go on top of this with another concealer but let's just see how we go when we blend this out yeah i am interested to see how this foundation powder will sit on top of basically a full face because i've never actually worn foundation powders like that i'm just gonna add a touch of brightness with the nars soft matte concealer underneath my eyes i guess you could also use this foundation for your light makeup applications but obviously if you know my channel i do tend to go in a bit heavy-handed but i do like to mix and match it not every day full coverage sometimes medium coverage so i'm just going to lightly set my under eyes with my honey translucent powder or shall i say my highlighted areas but i'm going to use a light layer which is what i tend to do anyway tamping off the excess on the back of my hands and just going in to set all of that and i also know that the foundation powder is a little bit warmer so obviously it's gonna probably make me look a little bit darker than what i would usually wear in the winter time okay so now going in with the foundation powder obviously last time i did try it out with the sponge that it came in first which i wasn't a big fan of i think it's better if you're on the go topping up and then i much prefer it with my sponge obviously i do have makeup on already so i don't think i will need a sponge at the moment but i do want to try it out with a brush first because i didn't actually get a chance to do that so i'm just going to use a really big fluffy brush to apply this powder starting off basically on the lower parts of my face tapping off any of the excess okay so you can see it's added a touch of warmth back there already starting off first with the areas that i've actually just bronzed my face just to see what that's looking like and this foundation powder is really just bringing back a lot of warmth to my face 
you can already see what that's looking like you can see how much warmer my forehead is compared to what it was before I'm not gonna apply it obviously where I've highlighted otherwise there will be no point of me doing that it actually sits pretty well on top of the cream contour and I'm questioning do I even need to go in with a powder bronzer probably not but anyways let's keep applying so I've applied the powder foundation and I think it looks okay on top of a full face of makeup I think my skin's actually looking really really nice and smooth not that it wasn't already but I feel like it's looking even more smooth so I really like the way this foundation just smooths out your skin and adds a touch of blur as well. Let me add a little bit more here. I actually like wearing this on its own as a foundation and then going in with concealer and whatnot on top. But I think on top of um, a lightweight foundation, it looks good as well. I don't think I would be comfortable wearing this powder foundation on top of like a full coverage foundation application yeah i would much prefer to wear this on top of a lightweight foundation or if it's going to be like a full coverage foundation then probably just one pump and just spread it out to give yourself an even canvas but at the moment not mad at it not mad at it at all i feel like the areas that i would add blush and all of that good stuff probably don't even need to do much right now i think it looks okay i'm just gonna finish my face and then we can come back see how it's looking compared to my chest etc etc so i will be right back okay so i'm back and this is what we are looking like i can't lie the weather outside inspired my lips so <laughs> as you know winter time does get darker a lot quicker so i just use my juvia's place lip gloss in maroon and i can't lie i actually really like it so yeah this is the finished look and this is what my skin is looking like i really didn't do too much else off camera i just added a bit of blush touch of highlighter obviously did my lower lash line etc and yeah you know what i actually didn't go in with a powder bronzer i didn't think i needed to after i used this foundation powder because it does have quite a warm undertone and i think it actually looks really good just like this to be honest i actually like both ways of wearing it and i can definitely see myself wearing it in this way um again in the future but i don't think i would have shown how much you can actually do with this foundation if i only did it in this way i mean it's called a powder foundation so obviously in my mind foundation is a first step it's meant to even out your skin tone and having it in a powder form just makes it a lot quicker you can also use this as a topper but in my opinion right now i don't feel like my skin looks cakey i don't feel like it looks dry I actually haven't set it with a setting spray the way I usually do. I am going to do that in a hot second. I just wanted to show you guys what my skin is currently looking like. You saw my application with the powder. I did use a brush and I used a big fluffy brush. So obviously that's not applying a heavy amount of powder. And I really didn't do too much in terms of my foundation. So I think that also helps too. But I'm going to go ahead and spray this down. I'm going to use my Super Dewy Spray by Revolution. And let's see what it looks like. So once it dries down we will then be able to see how it looks but again the whole point of me spraying my face down is just to reduce any powdery appearance which is why i use this spray in <laughs> i can't talk which is why i use this spray in particular because this spray is not necessarily gonna set any makeup it's just gonna help to re-moisturize our skin and refresh the skin so let's see what it's looking like now looking pretty good all my highlighted areas are definitely beaming oh i mean it doesn't seem to be completely dried down let me look at it in a small mirror oh okay so it's still drying down ever so slightly my spot has definitely been ignited <laughs> nonetheless i think my skin looks unreal absolutely amazing so yeah definitely happy to wear this powder on top of foundation but again i can only do it with a light layer of foundation so i'll probably use it again with the giorgio armani luminous silk and two pumps because it is a really thin consistency in terms of the coverage if i use it with my other foundations like nars which has a bit more coverage i'll probably go in with one pump of that because it does spread out pretty well but i absolutely love the way it's looking i presume some of you guys might actually prefer 
this finished look over my previous video with this Fenty powder but I guess it just depends on the person it's all about preference and whatever suits you whatever floats your boat oh I also forgot to show you guys what it looks like in comparison to my chest so if you just have a look my chest I don't know why in my previous video I feel like my chest was looking a little bit more yellow but in this video it's not but anyways this is what it's looking like at the moment and I think it's a perfect match I know some people were saying that oh the foundation was looking too orange on me or too dark but I'm honestly happy with the shade I don't think I would go a shade up I don't really think I need to anyway if I didn't mention it's 410 I can make this foundation shade work for me so I'm really happy with it and I know also in the summer it would work amazingly well especially if I just wanted to wear this powder foundation and not going with any liquid foundation or if I'm in a hurry if I'm in a rush but to be fair there's so many ways you can use this powder foundation it just depends on the person but yeah this is all from me guys i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not already be sure to check out some of my previous videos if you haven't already and of course i hope to see you all in my next one bye